Okay, so what you're looking at is a five decimal place, 10 volt output um, DC standard. This was produced by and sold by a gentleman, I believe his name is pronounced Gurov Singh uh, from Germany. Um, I've had this unit for over a year now uh, using it in this mock-up here. It's in the bottom. I've got some insulated um, material in the bottom. I have a heat sink. I have a heating element. I have a heat sensor. The, uh, and the whole thing is in, encased in a foam. And my intention is to um, maintain temperature within this cavity. And um, I have a low noise uh, 15 volt power supply which powers the board. The output I am eventually will use with a divider and uh, we'll have a uh, precision uh, voltage source. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and uh, put the insulation back in place. If you'll bear with me, I'll pick up the video again as soon as I get it all back together. Okay, so uh, this thing's been running for at least an hour. Looks like I've achieved a temperature that's somewhere between 26 degrees centigrade and 26.9. Uh, two different measurement devices, so you've got some error in each one of them. And one of the temperature, uh, temperature sensors is located on the top of the heat sink, and the other one is on the bottom of the heat sink. So uh, there could be a, a differential temperature, but I, I rather doubt it. I mean, I really think that by now it probably has stabilized. So I think mostly it's just a difference in the uh, uh, temperature measurement capabilities of the units. But regardless, uh, it's held at 26 and 26.9 for over a half an hour to 45 minutes. It's held sta uh, stable. And if I take a look at the input to the divider, I see that I'm getting fed 10.5 decimal places of zeros in volts. And on the output, I am getting all nine. So I'm within ooh, uh, 10, 10 microvolts of... Uh, of achieving a perfect 10, which would be the input voltage at this point. I'm up all the way in my divider. Now if I take myself down, say to um, what should be about 9, this would be 9.9990 uh, and I'm getting a 1. I could adjust it to hit the zero, but I was doing it by eye. All right. And we're stable. At least uh, short term, we know we're stable. We've been holding very stable. Long term, well, that remains to be seen, but I suspect it'll be quite good. Uh, so again, uh, just kind of looking over the blocks, I've got a low noise uh, actually 14.5 volt power supply. Um, it's feeding this uh, 10 volt reference card based on the LM399. has a buffered output. Um, so that my decavider doesn't load it too much, which, you know, it's uh, 10,000 ohms of input impedance. It's not a great deal but it's also not a pittance so uh, we are temperature stable we're, you know, we're holding it and uh, we're able to divide I mean if I I can take myself uh, for instance let's uh, let's go back up to all nines I'll take the major major division step go down one we went from nine to an eight and we see that we are at eight 999. 
Now in the larger voltages on this major step, I'm going to see that I won't be perfect. There is some error, 7.99872. I'd like to have all nines there after the seven. Six, nine, nine, eight, four, nine, five, nine, nine, eight, five, eight. And then as I go down to zero, I begin to get more accuracy. All right, here we are all nines. This is uh, when the major uh, dial is at zero, and I'm now working in my uh, second, third, and fourth and fifth uh, uh, decades. All right, let's go to eight. All nine, nine and pretty much all zeros. A little error there. Again, what you'd like to see right now would be four and all nines. Three and all nines, that's good. We're, we've corrected. Two and all nines. One and all nines. Uh, zero and all nines. Now we're on the third decade going from nine to an eight. Seven and all nines. Six and all nines. Five and all nines. Four and all nines. Three and all nines. Two and all nines. One, it should be all nines. Zero. All right, looks like we've actually edged up to a 10, which is good. It's all nines to a 10. All right, now we can adjust the outrigger so that we get, let's go to nine. We got 9.04, I can adjust it out, 9.00, and uh, oh, I am uh, 1, 2, 3, three and a half divisions uh, lower than I expected to be. Let's go to an 8. 8 would be... Perfect eight would be there if I go three and a half divisions, and it would be there. Oh, and we got it. That's eight, seven. Well, this is millivolts, by the way. All right, seven millivolts, seven point zero zero millivolts. Let's go down to. Uh, say 2.5 all right 2.5 millivolts and if we really work at it we could probably do something with that last place. Two point five six, two point five eight, two point five nine. So two point five nine millivolts. That's really, uh, it's really. Remarkable. I'm, I'm getting good uh, response. And let's go down below one millivolt and uh, see what goes on. All right, we should now be going. Should be about 0.9. One, two, three divisions lower than I expected. So let's see, let's go to point five. One, two, three. Point two. Uh, 
actually we're almost right on the mark now. One and zero. So uh, I'm quite happy. I'm excited about the fact that this is working really quite well. I'll get back to you later.